Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's redo the block puzzle again, shall we? Besides having to do this block puzzle a bunch of times... Well, I mean, granted I did it more times than I needed to because I had to do my owl save thing just in case of the, uh, the freezing issue, but besides that block puzzle, this dungeon is pretty well designed, as I said, so yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool place to roam around in. Uh, wait, where was that chest at? Wasn't it, like, underneath on the floor? On Okay, there we go. Remember, we set this up using that switch at the very, very last room that we went into. So that is done. I can actually get a fourth fairy from here? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I would like that fourth fairy if at all possible. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now... Now, now, now... I'm gonna do that. Because I think I... No, wait, maybe I don't need that. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I know I need the Zora mask at some point, but... All I'm looking to do here is get those remaining fairies, flip the dungeon back around, well, I should say do the block puzzle, puzzle again, and flip the dungeon back around, and uh, yeah, we're gonna call it a day. Because <laughs> we've been playing quite a while here. Oh, wait, wait, I am way off track. There we go. And we sink. There we go. Try getting me now, you sucker. Okay, where's that other treasure chest that I unleashed by hitting a switch? There it is. Get uh, get out of here. Get out of here. Fairy, right? Fairy? Fairy? Yeah, of course it's a fairy. And then the last treasure chest contains that last fairy. But where was that last treasure chest anyway? Um... Before I continue on, I don't want to get ahead of myself here. Because there's that one in that middle room. But do I have access to that middle room from the central area? I think I might. Because I, I think I am... Oh, that thing was still ignited? Oh man, it did manage to get me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I think I still have access to that central room, so... Let's see if I can get across there a little bit quicker. By going like... Oh, it's not open. That is sad. Very sad indeed. So how do I get back over there post haste. Like, do I have to go all the way around in looping fashion? Probably. So I'm gonna go around this way and see if I can get myself over to where that chest was. If you rem if you recall, that room where that last chest appeared was in the, um... in the spot with those spike giblets of sorts, like the those spike rollers, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. That's the room that I'm aiming to get to. Okay, after the Garl Master room, there we go. This is the one that I'm looking for. I just followed that path, like I said, and it took me here. Now, where was that chest? Was it on the ceiling over here? It was, okay. And I believe this will contain the last fairy. Yeah! Yeah! All right. That was the last fairy, that was the last treasure chest, and there- Hold on, is that- can I actually fill up all of my bottles with fairies? I can! <laughs> this is- this is pure overkill right here, I'm at full health. I've got five fairies in a bottle. <laughs> 16 hearts. And the power to warp out of the dungeon as I please. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna flip the dungeon back around, and uh, then we can go ahead over to the main boss, bossy, boss, boss, a t or ton, and yeah. <laughs> I think I can actually do this a little bit quicker though, because I'm not going all the way to the other side. I think what I can do here is sit on a switch here. Nope, that's not the one. I think I just need to move the middle block out of the way, and then I can shoot at it from a side. Um. That ain't the one either. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. A cutscene that pops up every time you hit a switch. Why? Just why? <laughs> okay. There we go. There's the middle one moved out of the way. Now I'll play the elegy of em Oop. Da, da, da. elegy of emptiness. 
There we go. And then I will be able to hold that block out of the way, flip it around, and believe it or not, those three blocks will be automatically in the correct position when I reflipped gravity around of sorts, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so, okay, let's get ourselves in position. Assume the position. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Wrong item. Wrong item again, though I'm closer. <laughs> Here we go. I got got the light arrows this time. Miss! <laughs> I'm never finishing this place. <laughs> I, that's the most difficult obstacle of the entire place. All right, there we go. So yeah, see all the blocks? They're all in nice, even places. Probably because you don't have the gravity to hit the switches that those blocks are activated too, so... Eh, whatever. <laughs> oh wait, I just noticed something. There was treasure chest on this side. You see that? See that? Yeah! How did I miss that before? What is that? Like, where do they... Where are they? They're, like, directly above here. Hmm... Is there like a hookshot target that I can use to get up there somehow? May uh, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I just want to see here before... I mean, I can always do this later because this isn't really a part of the dungeon, even though it is kind of, because you still got to go outside, but... Yeah, you know, outside to flip it around. But okay, I'll leave those two chests for later, because I'm just not like, hmm, I'm a little baffled by that. I never noticed those before, because I was always like, oh my god, I did it! I just, I did it, now I can move on and finally beat this SOB of a game. And <laughs> Oh yeah, Tattle's got a tattle for that, I do believe, if you uh, uh, take a look here. She's like... Look, can't you use the hookshot on that chest? Yeah, I can. We've we've kind of learned that already from various other dungeons, but <laughs> that that I guess is I I guess you could say the first time you absolutely have to use the hookshot on the chest of sorts. Uh, oh, whoops! This isn't. Oh, this is correct. Hold on. I need to go use this chest, the one that I opened um, earlier on here. Oh shoot! This is going fast. This is going fast. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and there's the boss door. Yep, this room that had the uh, spike slot or spike rollers also has the boss door on the opposite ceiling. Oh, hello there. Uh, do you have any goodies if I should destroy you? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, you got bombs, I guess. Oh, jeez, everyone is attacking me. I just want to see what's in here before I go into the boss room, just because. And... There we go. We are done, and we got plenty of time to beat the boss. So are you ready? You better be. So, you remember this room? Yeah, this is the, uh, um... Another boss room. No, I think it was the Garo room, come to think of it. Now, that, that is not the sky right there. That, that is something totally different. <laughs> Woo! Don't freeze. <laughs> Behold the boss of the dungeon! Oh, man! Oh, man! What are we gonna do? It's humongous! It's twin mole! It's... Two bosses in one, basically. See, there's a blue one, there's a red one. The blue one is weak to fire arrows, the red one is weak to ice arrows. But there's a different way that we can do this. I'll, I'll show you the I, I'll show you the arrow method later, because we'll actually have to do another boss repeat of sorts. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, let's put on that giant's mask that I got. Oh, this is the only use for this mask! And suddenly we can attack them. Their weaknesses are their tails and their mouths. So, and since we got unlimited magic power, good luck stopping me, you SOBs. <laughs> um, if you don't have this, you're gonna have to come in with magic potions or break these things apart because they tend to drop potions of their own. So yeah, you are a giant, and you are kicking a double S and taking names, and I spelled it, that means I meant it. 
This is a really fun boss fight. And it's even more fun in the 3DS version because of the, uh... They revamped the second phase of this fight when you get down to one of them. And you're doing, like, suplexes to these, to these things and throwing them around, like, with wrestling moves. It is... freaking hilarious. <laughs> And notice that I can't really, like, target them. Yeah, that's kind of an issue, but not that big of an issue or anything like that. You just gotta kind of wait for their tail to tail to follow its body, and then, yeah. Uh, maybe its maybe its mouth isn't a weakness when I'm in this form, but eh, whatever. I can, I can go for the tails. <laughs> I don't mind going for the tails. I wonder if I should have gotten the uh, item from the fairy fountain, you know, from since I got all 15 fairies. Because uh, that would be kind of kind of handy for this but a boss battle, actually, because it would give me even more sword power. But eh, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal or anything like that. And since I got five fairies, I'm not too concerned about damage or anything like that. I'm <laughs> more concerned about just, just hitting its tail and just causing damage, bringing victory to the populace. <laughs> And oh, and by the way, if you t if you want to do this with the arrow method, you've got to be quite the sharpshooter and really, really pay attention to their movement patterns, because you could very well run out of uh, um, arrows as well. So that's another thing. And you know, I guess we could say in phase two, which would have changed in the 3DS version, and you'd have to use the giant's mask. But in the, also in the 3DS version, they give you a lot more magic to work with. So yeah, it's, it's a lot more balanced too. So you don't you don't really need the Chateau Romani per se like you do here, though it would still come in handy. So you don't have to go back and forth between uh, um, small Link and giant Link if you should ever run out by mistake. It just keeps the battle flowing so much more smoothly if you have the Chateau Romani. But look at that! It's already over. It's just it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> All right, going back to normal size. Oh yeah. By the way, that sand slows you down too, so you'd probably want to stay during in the middle platform or so for maximum speed to dodge their movements and whatnot. Um, if you're using the arrow method, but yeah, um, nope, we didn't do that. We just did it the brute strength way. <laughs> All right, twin molds remains. Mysterious text that I still am unsure how to decipher whether or not the body or the mind or w the mask or whatever is evil or whatever. <laughs> or whatever. Who knows? Who knows? All I know is I freaking beat another dungeon. <laughs> I'm so happy. This game is it's coming to a close soon. Yes. <laughs> well, we've helped all you. Technically not because the other three are unhelped in this time period. That's all we can do. He's and then you hear another one go Colus. That's what they're saying. Without being told, you understand. So now you'll help us out in exchange. We'll call you from atop the clock tower, so do something about him, alright? What? The voices sound sad. You don't want to? Uh, you do want to save the world, don't you? All you have to do is stop the moon. That would be... That would be nice. Forgive... Your friend... Forgive our friend? What do you mean by forgive? Huh? What friend? Oh, if you were paying attention to the old lady's stories, you would know. <laughs> and then we get pooped out over here. We're not done yet, though. We got a little, little cutscene coming out after this. Mm -hmm. What do we get? What do we get? For our troubles? We get sparkles of sorts. <laughs> Woo! But we're not done side questing or anything like that. In fact, getting the light arrows opened us up to another side quest. So yeah, we're not we're not gonna take advantage of this particular area of already beating Twin Mold. 
Especially since I want to show you the uh, fire and ice arrow method anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ikana Canyon, we're back. And now we're going to hop down over here. Because remember, there's the fairy fountain over here. Well, we've got all 15 of those suckers now. And I am so proud of getting them all. <laughs> we don't have to go in there ever again. Ever. Well, except maybe getting those two treasure chests that I'm not sure how to get, but whatever, whatever. I'll, I'll think about those later. All right, nude fairy, what do you have for me this time? Well, actually, I've never met you before, other than when you were split up. The great fairy of kindness, thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I grant you the fairy sword. The fairy sword? What is this? Well, it's double the power of your already double-powered sword. But it's, as an exchange, it uses up one of your item slots. But this sucker, this thing really, really slices through things like nothing. With the bad black rose etched into it, the Great Fairy Sword is the most powerful of all blades, at least of this game. <laughs> Come see me whenever you are overcome by weariness. Woo! Yes! Yes, take a look at this beauty. Take a look at this beauty. Oh! Oh! Oh yeah, I have to use this button as my sword attack. And I can basically use this as my uh, A button sword attack. <laughs> Rather than, uh, um, I, I should say A and B button sword attack. You know, the, when you're locked on the stuff and stuff like that. Here, I'll, I'll give you a little demonstration, I suppose. You know, there's, there's enemies fluttering around over here, because, so why not? I don't think there's any more Garo now that I, uh, well... <laughs> so yeah, that didn't quite work out as expected, but yeah, okay, A button. Oh! I'm never going to be able to demonstrate this. It's impossible. Although I could actually use this over at the... <laughs> I, I don't think it's possible. I, I can't defeat you. You're my, you're my greatest adversary of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I would use arrows, so I can see why I'm getting thrown off here, but that's how it works. <laughs> that's how it works, and you, well, actually, you can't really even see the sheer power of this until we uh, actually battle some stronger enemies, and believe me, we will when we get into our side-questing stuff. And since we can't put any more rupees in the bank, apparently, it's time for us to Song of Time, and with that... I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I continue my side questing. No freezes, too. I'm I'm so proud of the game. <laughs> Maybe because I had fun in the dungeon for once. I had faith in the game, allowing me to have fun, so the game had faith in me by not freezing. 